this anime in the beginning i thought it started off strong and then episode one and two was good and episode three was like eh. and then i think it's gonna be gonna come back they're actually trying to do like more world building and explain the lore so what's going on right now there is um aside from what we're doing and going to a different kingdom and doing dungeon raids and trying to like improve our slime basically the demon lord essence that we were tasked to retrieve that is like the core of the golden energy and powers you saw the goddess's golden eyes right demon lord essence you saw other peoples get super powerful with the golden aura demon lord essence so clearly there is something ulterior going on around with what the goddess actually wants you know is saying and saying you know save this world but at the end of the day i think we're being used as tools to keep collecting demon lord essence that keeps her in power or something and then the other side there's like a different group of faction um we we're being introduced to it was like a different kingdom that wiped out our elf waifu's place and there's like humanity is strongest and there's also hero slayer i was under the impression that these are two different people because when they said that there was also two different dragon riders at that time but i think those two will be our antagonists today let's begin today's reaction backstory no not backstory she was just sleeping Piggy Maru. どうした、ピギマル。あ、起こしてしまいましたか。いや、問題ない。部屋の主はお出かけ中かも。今の音聞こえたか。いや、ランブリング。They Not CGI? What the fuck? It's rare? This thing drops the item that we need, right? The specific mat to make Piggy Maru stronger? Only mist? Natoka? Oh, certain power. System code. Enhance armaments? I don't know. What did she just do? Basically, she just got like more armor on, right? She did something and uh, it's making her stronger. What are we doing right now? Sleep. Poison. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Okay, it's dead now. Let's go pick up our matting leaf. Or that. That works too. Yeah. Easy. Done. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. Risking your secret identity. Like, she showed him his secret powers. And then he's like, nah, we're good. We're good. And it's done now. She's like, shit, I didn't have to tell him that now, did I? God damn. Sir Piggy Maru's mat? Yep, you didn't care about clearing the dungeon yet. What's over there? Alright, let's go deeper. I see hands. No, skeleton. Interesting mark. It's an egg. An egg? There's an interesting symbol on it. It's gonna be our new companion later if it hatches. What is it? A dragon? What is it? Our party's gonna grow inside. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? Why are you grabbing your own hand? Oh! Her hand got cut off. Oh my god! It's the human party. It's the human side. It's the shitty people, right? Well, this girl I think is nice. Well, well, maybe I'm just saying that because she got big booba, but oh my fucking god, they're suffering. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> she, dude, this is an insane weapon. I would have never imagined. I don't even know the name of this weapon. Is it correct to call it a morning star? But like, damn, really? The giant ass fucking mace? Oh, this piece of shit. I hate it. I hate it because his skill is actually kind of cool. I fucking hate it. So he shoots, he punches, and then it's like... Like, bullet fire attack fucking goes out like... <sighs> God damn it. We've seen this one already. Damn! 
Dude, the girls could have died there. They do not give a fuck about anyone else, man. That girl could have been actually cooked there if it wasn't for the rom-com girl. I was simply stronger. <laughs> In power captions. Now, the level 24 is interesting. Remember how we're like level 1000 something, but we're like what? Like E rank, F rank or some shit? He's S rank and 24. Like, these levels could scale differently, genuinely. Like, a level 24 S rank could be the equivalent of like level 1000 plus F rank or something. You know what I mean? I'm not sure how that shit really works, but they are intentionally letting us know their numbers. So let's keep that in mind. Yeah. And she takes all the credits, right? So. Oh, yeah, she did the whole thing. 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 Yeah, she Mm? No prob, baby girl. I mean, if it's called a dragon eye chalice, then could it just be a dragon egg? Piggy Maru eaten. Now what? We just feed it to Piggy? Oh, she's here. She's gonna be our bodyguard? Okay. Yeah, because like obviously it's like an incentive, right? It's like, oh yeah, you can keep all the credits, you know? But like I gave you those credits, so you kind of owe me, so you should be the bodyguard. Witch of Taboos. Golden Eye Monsters. Remember, Demon Lord Essence. Great, our party grew in size. It's kind of on the way, I guess. セラスミスミス。セラスミス。セラスミス。セラスミス。セラスミス。セラスミス。セラスミス。セラスミス。セラスミス。セラスミス。セラスミス。セラスミス。セラスミス。セラスミス。セラスミス。セラスミス。セラ
there is nary a one or is the subs just all fucked up for this anime i can't tell is crunchyroll dropping the fucking ball or is this like medieval time language verbiage that i don't know that's why i think that it subs fucking up i'm just saying that because i saw tuka two times already Okay. Yeah, maybe it's just old English, man. Who knows? Basically, they're super, super rare. How many of those do we have? Oh! <laughs> oh, is that right? I'll take it back. Here it is. Take that bitch back. <laughs> Giga Chad. Mm -hmm. Also, someone said Hati refers to like heart. Now, I don't know how true this is, right? Can I really trust random commenters on the YouTube comment section? Well, someone said Hati's supposed to mean heart, as in like he's got a good heart, he loves? I don't know. Hati means heart in my language, at least in Indonesian, yeah. You motherfuckers are self-inserting your own fucking culture into this anime! You're... That's not what the anime actually means! You're saying that it means that it's in your own language! You motherfucker! I'm trying to relate it to the story within the anime and then perhaps Toka being like, Yeah, I have a big heart. That's why I'm Hati. <laughs> you motherfuckers are... No, Hati means heart in my... Shut the fuck up. Alright, no prying into my life. Wow, what a good person. Oh, Bassin? Girl? Oh. <laughs> Should I have taken a shower before talking to him? Oh, you thinking about that? I stink. Too kamimori. That's crazy that she sniffed her armpit. That's actually crazy that she was like, shit, we need to fucking clean this shit. Okay. The princess. Jesus Christ, what is this answer? Yeah. <laughs> She's taken, losers. <laughs> First unimportant one? Hold up, hold up. She touches her chest. First unimportant discussion. Yeah, she does do that. She does. It, 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 we're gonna have a lot more unimportant discoveries, man. Yeah. Yeah, she does. Ancient spells for Oh, I see. Why? Because those forbidden spells directly counters the goddess's strength, right? It must be. This is interesting. Perfect. We just go around collecting the forbidden spells and we just counter the goddess, man. Easy. Yeah, goddess is kind of looking like uh, Quinella. Pontifex. Okay, bye -bye. The reward ceremony, I think. I feel like something bad's gonna happen. It's the reward ceremony, uh-oh. Okay, Piggy Maru, time to get stronger. She does not get along with anybody here, huh? Wait, what? Hold up, hold up. I've invited a mate specialized in breaking illusions so that we can ensure the authenticity of the Dragonite Chalice. I think we're getting set up. I think we're getting set up. She's gonna be called a fraud. What did they do to the chalice? Either they swapped the chalice out or the chalice in the dungeon was already fake. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I feel good about this. Yeah, definitely don't feel good about this. It's already two. One hour after. You need to go there, man. Oh, the goddess again. Sakura-san probably is the one that got her hand chopped off, right? Golden eyes. Probably not. They don't like him. 
He's a dick, bro. Could have got the girls killed there. Selfishness? I feel like everyone else is the fucking selfish people, but to their definition, like, she needs all the strong people to band together, so, okay, she's giving a gentle nub of, like, come on, you gotta get the shit together, I'm gonna get rid of you, too. Oh, dearie me! <laughs> I love how, like, she is so aggro. She is so passive-aggressive. The way that she speaks in a soft tone but just, like, roasts you. She's like, oh, dear me, are you retarded? Do I need to go slower? Oh, okay, I'll explain one more time. <laughs> like, oh my god, lady! <laughs> Look at this <laughs> the tears are fat! The goddess Loki hilarious. Evil, vile woman. But god damn, bro. These acting skills. <laughs> oh dear me, what shall I do? Hmm? Basically, it looks like Goddess is using her as a convenient way to round up all the quote-unquote losers and they get separated from the pack and... I don't know, I feel like... Would she be down to kill them? If it's not useful? Or is she just gonna ignore them? There it is, right? Disposal of all heroes who can't fight. And who created that royal decree? I bet it was your ass. You're always hiding behind these excuses. Cap! Cap! Pretty much. Look at this. The way that she's manipulating her. Oh, I'm forced to do that, right? The blackmailing while making it seem like you're not doing it. This lady, bro. The goddess, honestly. She's read the art of the deal from Donald Trump, bro. She is good. She's very good at doing this. <laughs> but I think that this could potentially work in our favor. Because I still think that one of these days, Toka will return and kind of get, uh, I don't know, reconnect with the students. But obviously there's different factions. And now that we've been partitioned to, you know, the evil motherfuckers with Kiriata's group, and then... With, sorry, not Toka, Tuka's group, right? Tuka's, sorry, not Tuka, sorry. This girl is gonna have all the neutral guys and all the quote-unquote losers. Maybe we can, like, band together and form a team and, you know, have more people on our side for the cause. Hmm? What's the cruel reality? No, 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 no! You said? This is really cool. She said? She said? If something bad happens? Cruel reality will happen, but it's okay, because humans always face stronger when they face reality. Meaning, the cruel reality, she's already gonna do it. Whatever she's gonna do to the rest of the kids, she's gonna do it. She's like, it's gonna be bad, and you'll survive that. You'll, you'll be better after that shit. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's gonna happen! <laughs> this bitch. She's so hot, though. <laughs> Oh, it's just that she is the perfect itch to that, like, a hateable girl who is so hot. God damn it. So lucky. That's, that's what I said. Says you. That damn bitch says you. Yes, I think she's being, uh, what's the word? They, they call the child a fake. Pete. Let's go. Hey, did you hear? The woman who found the Dragonite Chalice was the fugitive Princess Knight. Oh, fuck. The, the secret's already out. The pedestrians are literally telling us. Thank you, NPCs. Dark Forest. Oh, we're already going to the Dark Forest. Tuka, get in there. Dragon Riders. Dragon Riders. Yeah! Humanity's strongest is around, right? Oh shit. I mean, they destroyed the town too. Not working. Okay, okay. 
That CGI animation was pretty smooth, not gonna lie. This quick exchange of events here, the CGI animation, not bad. <laughs> She really won me three. Okay. I mean, they were, re yeah, they were average knights, right? We're not, it's the humanity is strongest not here, but that was pretty good, Saras. <laughs> the dragon itself is fighting. I can't tell if that was good animation or not. It looked cool, but like, I can't tell. You know what I mean? Like, it looked really cool, but at the same time, was it, was it good animation? I can't tell. They did something interesting here, but like, I don't know. Yes, reveal the secrets. Everyone is just rapey in this show, bro. Every one of them are so creepy. Tuka! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Why does everyone she encounter have to be so fucking creepy, dude? Tuka. Paralyze. Paralyze. Yeah. Poison. You can't move. So, my hero. <laughs> Lethal. Non-lethal, got it. <gasps> wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's not have him go then. True, true, true. Smart. Then so be it. Nah, we're good. What are you talking about that? No, nah, not that. Here's more money. All the blue shards, right? More of it? Yep. Got a lot of money. Bodyguard Riz, man. Bodyguard Riz. Now, why is he so insistent on keeping her around? Because he recognizes her skills, right? That's pretty much it. Because she is that strong. Huh? What, what, do you, what, 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 what do you mean? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir? Cliffhanger? Hello? Anybody? What kind of cliffhanger is that? Now, said us. Take off your clothes. To give her a different outfit, to have a different alias, because I think what she looks like is just too... It's too obvious, right? She wears the same fucking shit, so I think we're gonna give her a different drip. Now, today's episode was pretty fucking good, man. What happened? Uh, we finished off, you know, getting the chalice and Piggy Maru got the monster essence and shit. And um, we need to do a little bit more to make Piggy Maru strong. We got a contract with Seras and she's going to be her bodyguard. We know about the blue scales and how it's so rare and it's barely there's none of it in the market. But we got a shitload of money, so everything is fine. A lot of Seras fan service. And yeah, she, she basically that. Just fucking... I mean... It was so obvious, right? As soon as they said, let's appraise the uh, chalice to see if it's real or fake. But it's like, what the fuck? We got that shit from the dungeon. You know, it's like they were planning on sitting us up in the beginning. I'm not too sure. Now, the goddess scene, low key. Just like how I enjoy, like when I was watching Kumo Deska, yes, the perspective of the main character is fun, but I really cared more about the students. Kind of same with Ari Fureta too. I really enjoy seeing what's going on with the other kids. And right now, basically, the goddess is saying, listen, girl, we're gonna... If you're not gonna side with Kirihara, you're gonna have to, you know, team up with the trash. And the trash, they're gonna get taken out. There's a royal decree. Oh, no, I can't do anything about it, right? So now the goddess has an excuse to, like, get rid of the trash mob. But she's gonna be, like, you know, the other rom-com girl is gonna be, like, protecting them somehow. This is an interesting thing going on. But, you know, there's a lot of tension between the two. And the goddess's acting skills, low-key, like, it's so fucking good. I hate her. She's evil, but at the same time, whenever she shows up, there's bound to be a lot of laughs to be had. And right now, we're basically on the run because, you know, they fucking scammed us and the Dark Knights are after us. But Humanity is Strongest has not shown up yet. He was teased last episode, not yet. So maybe next episode, we're going to have something like that. And that's it for me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. 
check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.